Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you one of my very highly requested videos, which is how I revised for maths GCSE. I want to get all these videos out about how I revised by Christmas, although I don't think that's gonna happen, but I really want to try and get them all out. So the ones you want most, please leave down below and I will make those my priorities. I assume maths was a priority because everyone has to take it. And I'm also thinking of doing history and art next art just because that's easy but history because i know a lot of people want that and struggle with it but i have a little plan on my phone because i am filming on a camera today which is probably why any audio or like visuals look different my revision for maths was more of a process than like all in one go if that makes sense i'm just going to run you through like the background of maths so all i've got to say is i got a grade eight for any of you guys who did not watch my results video it turns out i was only four marks off a nine and i did no, I didn't get it sent off for a remark because you had to be two marks off to get it sent off for a remark. But I will kind of explain later in the video why I believe, uh, how I believe I could have got a nine, which would have been amazing. But I mean, an eight's still really good. So before you start revising for something like maths, you obviously need to know your natural ability. Like some people are just there and they get it. Some people have no idea what's going on. And like, luckily for me, I do have like a natural ability in maths, like it is one of the subjects I can just do. So obviously if you've got a natural ability, you don't need to do as much revision. Although I wouldn't recommend not doing the revision because you don't want to rest on your laurels too much. Because you might regret it later, which I did. <laughs> obviously if you struggle, you're going to need to put in a lot more work, which in some ways isn't fair. But you know, it's just life. Putting more work in is always the best option. So the first thing I would recommend doing is getting a textbook. And the one I would recommend is this one, which is GCSE Edexcel Maths. I did do Edexcel, um, obviously for the new spec because I did the new spec for this. Um, and the textbooks just tend to run through every single kind of question that can come up, every topic. And it will tell you what grade each thing is. Um, and you, this will be like, way better of a note source than your school books because it's all laid out so it's easy for you to see and then they've got obviously like their sample solutions and answers in here so you can understand the working so i'd recommend getting one of these while you're working through this book make sure you make notes on everything and write up the work solutions and questions and, and do a page or like a couple of pages for each topic so when you're doing like papers and you suddenly forget how to do that type of question you can go back in the book and you've got a really nicely laid out work solution and you can like explain it as you go along i mean this is just such a good book so what i did was for my mocks in january last year i just worked through the entire book every single page and i made sure i understood everything obviously for me that was an easier job because i already understood most of it um obviously some stuff in here is harder and then the stuff you do know really well there's a little checklist in the front i think but there's um, a contents page and you can kind of highlight what you understand and highlight it off and then leave the stuff you don't understand as much so you know which areas you want to focus your revision on but i'd recommend covering everything just so that you know you've not missed anything at all if you've got time that is so you probably want to start fairly early because it did take me about six weeks to get through this doing like four hours a week so yeah, I definitely recommend spending some time going through one of these textbooks. So if there's still topics you don't understand, no matter how much you use this textbook, and that was true for me, I did not understand inequalities, and I did struggle with things like 3D shapes and the volumes of them, which you had a lot of exam questions on. And once you've got what you don't get, either go to a teacher or go and learn it through a different source, and there are so many sources online. A few which I would recommend are revision channels on YouTube, so you've got um, Hegarty Maths, which I used a little bit in year 10, UK Maths Teacher, which I also used in year 10, and websites, there's so, so many websites. A couple are Exam Solutions, which is mostly A-level actually, but there is GCSE stuff, I think, and Maths Watch, if you have a student login to that, and if not, I'm sure you can find one online. And then just going through those videos is more of like a teacher to student per like experience so you can kind of learn it rather than just reading it um so you're getting your questions and they're explaining it to you in better ways than this book is say so definitely go through and watch some videos on stuff you don't get or stuff you want to like get more practice on obviously there's no point in working on stuff you do get because you get it and then once you feel like you understand everything 
what I recommend is just getting some um, specimen papers, past papers, mock papers and just working through those. Um, so obviously you can use the ones of the website, workbooks. So for example, I had these two workbooks. This was for people who want to get a grade nine. So everything in here was quite hard. So I probably worked in here a lot more. Um, so there's all like difficult questions and I didn't do a lot of it. I'm going to give this to my sister because I'm really good at maths so she can use this. Um, and the other workbook which I had was this one, which I didn't use a lot. It has so many questions in it though. So any topic you don't get, go through it a bit and then use this and then you'll probably be really good and you've got all your answers at the back which have work solutions so you literally can't go wrong. I think I only did like one page in here um, which was the first page so I'm going to give this to my sister because she's in year 9 now she can probably make good use out of this for like her end of year tests or whatever that are easier. So definitely get yourself some workbooks if you're going to struggle. There's also a version of this book which has um, papers at the back, which my friend has, if you want to get that. Um, there's also a maths revision channel called Raw Maths, which I used a lot towards exam, the exam period. Um, and it just had like papers on it. And he has a website as well. And you can just work through the paper with him. And it tells you what grade you get by the end. Um, to be honest, those papers were a bit easier than our actual papers. So I wouldn't completely recommend that. But if you're struggling and you want a confidence boost, then... I'm also going to kind of quickly run through what my biggest mistakes were with um, like GCSE revision for maths. Because if you watched my study with me, you would know that you basically saw me do like one maths paper. And that was about it. So really all I did around May and June time was just exam papers and I probably did about six. So I really didn't work as hard as I could have done to be honest. I kind of rested on my laurels a bit because in January mocks I'd got a nine and I was like, you know what, I get everything really well, I'll be fine. But I didn't actually go back and learn the stuff which I'd struggled with. I kind of told myself, what, well, let's pray it doesn't come up and not bother revising, which was so stupid because those four marks, there was a quadratic sequence question, which I could have done, but I didn't. And I lost four marks on that, which was so stupid because literally had I gone and spent like 20 minutes learning how to do it, I could have got a different grade. And then there was all sorts of questions which I just made stupid mistakes on, so. If you don't get something, don't go into the exam not understanding it. Spend 20 minutes learning it and that could make a difference. So, I mean, there were so many stupid mistakes I made. You can drop 50 marks and get a 9, I think. Because I was... I don't think it's quite that. It's like, you can drop 30 marks and get a 9. So, if you understand everything really well, you can do it all. You account, like, 20 marks for stupid mistakes, you can still do really well. So... Maths is literally not something to worry about. So once you kind of understand everything, all you really need to do is just practice, practice, practice until there's nothing that's going to trip you up. Um, honestly, you don't need to do well in maths. If you're not doing it next year and if you don't care and if you're not good at it, you only need to get a four. You can definitely get a four very easily on the higher paper and you can get a five or a four on the foundation paper because you've got much easier topics. So literally there's nothing to worry about make sure you understand everything even to some degree you can use this book and if you only want to get a six learn all the topics from one to seven just so that you've given yourself a safety net and you should be fine and people do worry a lot about maths and i know it's easy for me to say because i've got a more natural ability which i am so happy i have um but honestly it's not worth the stress maths is just that subject that you probably hate but you won't fail it if you put some hard work into it and you just learn some ways to answer questions um i hope that wasn't too rambly and i hope it helped you and i'm so sorry this is so overdue i really wanted to get these videos out and i just haven't had time it's just been a bit of a pain but i hope that helped you and i know a lot of people need help with math so that was definitely my priority um yeah thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye